Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Kira May Changer from Mashin Sentai Kira Major. I know I'm very behind, but I am starting to get my shit together. And usually, I the only reason I do this is because I only handle two Sentais at a time, minus whatever I look back on for older stuff. Um... But I'm deciding that that system may not be good. Um, so I'll try and do maybe three or more. Because um, uh, I am still trying to figure out how to manage it all without overdoing myself. Um, but regardless, let's get down to it. This is the changer used by the main five Kira Majors to transform. Um, so we'll take a look at the box, then the Kira May changer. For the box, we got a picture of Kira May Red right there. This is where it went. And this is the first time in a while that they actually had a box with a translucent opening and a clear plastic inside. Which is interesting to say the least. Uh, on the top it shows you all the features of the changer. On this side you have the other Kira Majors. Uh, green is a girl, yellow is a dude. And for those of y'all who don't know. Uh, it says Kira Major right there and it has an image of their Kira May machine. Bottom is stuff I cannot read. And on the back is of course everything I'm going to do with this thing. So, let's get down to the changer itself. Uh, it's done out in black plastic with uh, white paint. And you got some silver chrome for the front, which mine is a little on the dusty and scratchy side. Well, it's only a few scratches here. But, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it could do with a little polishing. Uh, Admit. Um, regardless, um, you do get a sort of magic circle, which does have imprinted images of each individual Kirame machine, and it does repeat. So you get Machine Fire, Mock, Shovelo, Helico, and Jetter. Repeating, of course. Um, and this is molded after a tire, the outer rim. Uh, this does come with a silver strap for your wrist. Um, this barely fits me, so I have to get one of my replacement straps for it to fit me. The battery compartment is actually underneath here. It takes... Two to three AAA batteries, which are not included. The on-off switch is right here. Speaker um, on this thing is a little hard to see. It's right here. Um, and when you turn it on, you get... Lights up nice and brightly. Uh, and... Oddly enough, the glare of my light isn't actually affecting it that much. Well, now it is. As if I'm holding it in an angle, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, this works similarly to a touchscreen. So, each of the four icons here that you see uh, will, um, uh, will activate the moment I touch them. So you have the change, the summoning, the communication, and the uh, Kira Mage. I'll get to this later because it's a bit quirky. Um, anyway, we'll start with the transformation, which is the red icon. So let's push it. That's a little standby. It kind of has a little stoplight sort of countdown and to transform you just spin the wheel and 
and the lights were glitching, so let me try that again. I guess that's about as well as it'll get. I may need to change the batteries on this lighter, but who knows. Now, if you spun this by itself... And you do get a little secret sound effect if you um, spin it enough. Now, I originally thought this was going to, that there would have been a collectible gimmick for Kira Major. There isn't, so it's kind of like Juoger. Um, but I honestly thought because of this icon that it would have been something kind of like this, which I was messing with earlier, the Yokai Watch Dream where even though it wouldn't scan like yeah you, you can read the metals and it would it would um go through them but because of the scanning feature give me a minute sorry about that so i originally thought i originally thought please don't do that I originally thought it would have been something like the Yokai Watch Dream, where even though it couldn't physically read anything, uh, as I showed with the Yokai Watch Dream, it had a scanning feature where if you had a metal, you would scan it. Um, and I thought that maybe for the mechas, it would have had something similar, like a scanning feature, which. Hasn't really been seen in Super Sentai. It's been seen in Kamen Rider, but not in Super Sentai, at least not to my knowledge. Um, uh, where it scans something from a distance, but... Uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, now, let's do the vehicle summoning for the Kirame Machine. Now, ironically enough... Even though the Kirame Machine are based on vehicles, they are sentient uh, mechas, kind of like from uh, kind of like Abu Ranger and Goanger, and I guess Ryu Sojo, that Ryu Sojo to some extent, um, and Lupin V Pat, but um, it's very odd here because oh, I don't do that. Yeah, this is very very sensitive, which is a thing I really don't like. Um, they're all generic looking vehicles, yet they speak, though in the context of the show it does sort of make sense, and I will talk a little bit more about that when I actually review the Robo, but we'll get to the summoning of the individual machine. So, first, so, it cycles through five different ones, first is Machine Fire. So that is the summoning of Machine Fire, Kirame Red's machine. Um, and yeah, that was its voice. So next is Mock, I think. Oh no, it's Shovel. Yeah, And that was Shovelo's voice at the end. Um, next is Mock. So there's Machine Mocks for um, uh, summoning and, and his voice. Next is Jetter. Or Jetta. <laughs> and 
And last is Helico. Although with Helico, there is a weird quirk. <laughs> is that for some reason, occasionally, after the first time you summon Helico, when you turn this thing on, it'll occasionally pronounce it in that weird voice of a man trying to sound girly. And I don't know why, and that was never in the show, so. Uh, next we got the calling feature. Where you wait to get a call from one of the machine. camera decided to be stupid. And yeah, it did it again. Um, so, uh, next we have the Kira Mage button. Now, this doubles for both the Yatai and something else, which technically was only ever used once. And essentially, it kind of is a bit of a short power boost from what I saw. So you activate that and then spin this. And if you spin it enough times, You'll get that. Now, if you hit the Kira Mage button a second time, you'll initiate Mashin Gatai in order to access the three different robo formations. Well, the main ones, anyway. First one is Land Mage, consisted of the three land machine Fire, Mach, and Shovelo. Second one is Sky Mage, uh, consistent of the two aerial vehicles, Jetter and Helico. And last is the formation for all five of them together, Kira Mage. And it will actually save your progress. Um, and technically, you don't need to hit the button again. You could have just spin and it, it would just do it automatically. It's weird how that works, but eh. So that's pretty much it. Overall, the Cure Mage Changer is simple, but... I don't know, this could give you some good play value. It, it is uh, a nice little changer. Um, simple, but nice. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Take care. Get on my Get on my change. <laughs>